Hi, my name is Karine Gonzalez, and I'm going to present a work titled A Pilot Study About the Perception of Experts in Engineering Education. This work was made in collaboration with Alicia Garcia Olgado from University of Salamanca. The gender gap is a global problem that affects different areas of society and depends on several factors. According to the last Global Gender Gaps Index report, none of the 153 countries analyzed to get a score of 1 get, get this indicator. Based on data from LinkedIn Frank platform, female workers make up an estimated 15% of workers in engineering, even though Engineering has one of the highest employment growth rates. According to UNESCO science report, women make up just 28% of graduates in engineering and 40 of those is in computer science. IEEE EDUCON is a flagship conference of IEEE chapter in engineering education and the last edition was dedicated entirely to women in engineering. We have adapted and applied a gender perspective in the computer engineer questionnaire to identify the perception of engineering professionals about issues related to gender and diversity. This pilot study follows a quantitative approach with a non-experimental cross-sectional design. The population of this study are scientists, academics, professional and students from engineering sector. The participants were mainly from IEEE Region 8, which cover Europe, Middle East and Africa. The sample was formed by 30, 50 participants for 53 countries. We use a Gen Z 2.0 gender perspective in computer engineering questionnaire, and the primary purpose of these instruments uh, is to identify computer engineer students' perceptions of gender and diversity issues. Uh, these instruments was validated in previous work and it was applied in European and Latin American higher education institutions. This questionnaire was shared in April 2021 at IEEE EDUCON conference. First, we shared through the chat during the workshop strategies to gender mainstream in engineering studies and at the end of the roundtable boom, women in engineering work and study during COVID-19 pandemic. Moreover, the organization shared the link by email before the closure of this event, and we implemented the questionnaire in English and Spanish in a hosted version of line survey. The participants voluntarily participate in this study and anonymity was warranted. As main results, we can say that we collected 43 valid responses, 39 completed and 4 partial responses, represented 12.3% of the population. Regarding gender, 28 were women and 50 were men. Nobody selected non-binary or preferred non to answer. In, ter in terms of the support received to start engineering studies for N14, 17 participants did not receive any kind of support representing the, almost the 40% of our sample. Ten received support from his father, six from his mother, and two from other relatives. 
two from the teachers and two for the government and one from both parents. We cluster it into two categories, studies, studies with, uh, who did not receive its support, who represented the 23.3% and students who received support, who represent 76.7%. As conclusions, we can say that this work describes a pilot study carried out in the context of an international conference of engineering education. The instrument used was created for computer engineering, so the adaptation to the engineering context was mainly focused on replacing computer engineer and technology with so the word engineering. Regarding the research question, are there differences between the perception of engineers related to social, academic, and professional context? Results show mean a score difference between the three dimensions. Academic perception has a lower score than professional competence and social perceptions. The discrimination variable does not affect the professional competence dimension. The results do not affect uh, or do not allow identified significant differences. The pilot study provides insights to go deeper in further studies. We have more results and discussions and conclusions to share with you. And if you want to contact with us, this is our email contact. And finally, thanks for your attention.